What's up, y'all? SES and I'm back. Man, it's crazy, man. Never in my life did I ever have this much time. It don't feel like it. Like, man, I've been in the house working and chilling all day. Like, man, this is crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. Man, it's a blessing. I'm so glad to be free. So today, man, we about to paint this uh I'm trying to tie my shoes. We about to tie this bumper filler. I'm gonna tie this bumper filler. Paint this bumper filler. Um, the old lady about to be on the sewing machine. So, while she, I'm giving her tips and techniques and stuff to use on the sewing machine. I'm going to be letting everything flash accordingly and getting stuff ready uh, as far as paint. So, I got a whole, a whole um, tote full of paint shit. Um, so, I'm going to pull all this out. Like literally this whole thing, and I thought I wanted to try paint. Ain't out y'all. It's a lot of work. Woo! It's a lot of work. Painting is the fastest part. Everything else takes long. Like I found out it went for me, man. I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> All right, we about to take this boy up the driveway and get ready. All right, on the driveway, one more time. This came out to about, to my calculation, about three trucks. So I said, all right, you know what? Crazy thing. The owner of the Blue C10 that I did, he's a concrete contractor, and he invited me to make it and just come and watch. He's like, man, you, if you ain't trying to make your driveway spectacular, you can do it yourself. I was like, well, shit, the shop ain't spectacular. I mean, if I'm going to pay for something, that's what I'm saying with the seats. I mean, with the sewing. Like, if I'm going to pay for decent, I could do decent. He like, man, it ain't that hard. You can do it yourself. You just got to do it in sections. Do what you can in whatever amount of time. Because it's going to start getting hard at X, Y, Z. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, I'm, finna, I'm done paying for decent. Because it just makes no sense. All right, so I'm going to make this a quick explanation on how this process go. Uh, all right, so you got base coat, base coat, um, base coat and reducer. This makes one to one, so I got a bunch of paint stuff over here. Now my wheels, are weak. I still ain't got to move my wheels to the shop. I ain't had to use it. If I ever had to pull my wheels out for fabrication, I'm talking about out. Y'all see what I mean with that, with this video coming on. How the concrete man fired himself. But, uh, nah, that's black. That's the prep all. We use this to clean everything once you're ready to start putting the solvents and material and stuff on. Cheap clear we're gonna put on here. There's some stuff off eBay. Like I said, we're just trying to make it decent. That. All right, and this is the reducer. Okay, so the base coat reducer mix one to one. So I put six ounces of this, I put six ounces of reducer. I got 12 ounces of um, base coat. All right, now, this is how the process go. So we're gonna take, cover everything up. We're gonna sand it with a um, maroon scotch right. Now, once we uh, do all that, we're gonna blow it, wipe it off with the prep off, let it dry. You can tack it if you want. Well, you can just use a microfiber towel, make sure everything's clean, right? And you get your uh, adhesion promoter. This goes on plastic, Bulldog adhesion promoter. The reason why is if you don't put this on here and this thing flex, it could crack the paint. So you gotta, need, gotta get your adhesion promoter put on there. Just put that on there, we're gonna put two or three coats of primer on there. Then we put the base on there, then we put the clear on there. So the flash times, five to seven minutes on a lot of this stuff. So it's not a long process, it's just prep. So it's gonna take me longer to sand, tape, and cover the car than the whole process. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm about to get my plastic and my tape. How you cut off? All right, I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. It'd be best to tape this headlights out and this trim off, but uh, last person painted didn't. Just showing y'all something. I'm not taking it all off because this car can repaint so. This is something for, like I said, it's supposed to be decent. All matching, everything's flowing. But uh, I'm gonna 
I'm time lapsing on my other phone. And yeah, y'all yeah, see it. The outcome probably about an hour or so. Stay tuned. Turn it on. 73 degrees. Man, it feel, feel real good, man. I wasn't expecting to sweat though, but hey, it feel good. So I'm out of primer. All the primer I got, I got primer, sealer, primer, and epoxy primer, all different ones, right? Which you all, you can use any of those. But uh, they all bad. The brand new one had clumps at the bottom. It's been sitting though for a minute. And then the other two, they old. I had them before I even got here. So I gotta find a hazardous waste place to dispose of that stuff. Uh, Cause you can't put it in the garbage can. Just like you can't put batteries in the garbage can. Just so, so people know, you can't dispose of that stuff in the garbage can, regular garbage can. I try to close the door, everything. I'm talking about put stuff on top of the car. <laughs> this stuff crazy. Hopefully, I don't get in my clip. I drove the car in some from where it was. I would do it in the shop, but I'm gonna have to get all that stuff like clean. All right, man, we got our base coat. This mix one to one, like I told y'all. So. I'm thinking about there should be good. And then uh, we gon' mix up the, put the reducer in there and we're gonna mix it up. All right, you go ahead. I ain't got no lid, so I'm, I got some aluminum foil in the house. I'm gonna just mix it, cover it up. The base is just color, it's just color in the skin, right? So you can mix this up and have it ready. Or you cannot do this for clear. With clear, you gotta be ready to spray as soon as you mix it together. So I'm just getting ready. Uh, so the primer can get this 30 minutes time, they said. But uh, yeah, I'm looking for the reducer. So I'm about to mix this together. Reducer right here. And then to cover it up, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna clean the gun too. one i might do one extra because um the, the paint on the car man it's kind of dark so i just need it to be close in darkness depth 
looking good. It's looking good. It's real good. Hold on. Yeah, for now. For now. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. It's still kind of wet right there. I'm gonna start running. Yeah, I'm gonna give it about a few more minutes. And this bump filler had a whole bunch of little scrapes and scratches and stuff in there. I did not wanna get into all this. I just wanna paint this thing to match. That's all I want to do. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a few more minutes. All right, let me show y'all who don't know uh, a lot about these cars, what I'm talking about. You see those little chips? That's something the primer probably could have filled and I could have sanded it out. But like I say, it's getting repainted and I ain't going all in depth on that. Not, 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 not like this. Like I say, I'm just trying to get it looking decent. In my opinion, decent. Cause other people do, other people decent ain't ain't the same as everybody else decent. So I'm gonna say that too. But uh just decent enough for me. I'ma just say that for me. Alright, so one more base coat. And shoot, we should be there. Maybe two, but one more, we should be there. Yeah, this looks much better because that sun rain right there. Okay, ready, set, get. So how long does it take to dry? Five minutes. Completely? Oh. That's like when can time. we take it off? Completely dry, probably about 10 minutes. But uh, I just sprayed that last one. So I'm letting it flash and now I'm mixing up my clear. Oh, okay. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, this last step then. This probably can sit. Say it'll be dry. Two to four hours. But I ain't gonna put my grill on till tomorrow. Cause I wanna wash the car again. Clear got a blue tint, but it's cool. From the blue stick. I ain't gonna go get another stick. It'll be alright though. I could have flipped the stick over, but I ain't got no blood on. That is much bluer on camera. It'll be all right. I will clean the gun again. That's why people got a whole a clear gun. But uh, I don't want to get no reaction from the clear to uh. So that doesn't make a difference on how it's gonna look, even if it's like it could kind of coated in blue. Not nothing that's crazy noticeable. Oh, okay. You can cut me out. I'm not asking for the video. I'm asking for myself. Yeah. All right, so that was a good question. Um, this is all perfect, but in my opinion, and from the stuff that I sprayed, which is not a lot, I didn't notice the difference. Now, the reason I didn't clean the gun is because I didn't want to get a reaction from the lacquer thinner from the with the clear coat. So it is possible that that could happen. I just didn't want to take that chance. I'd rather have a blue tinted clear, which you, you can't really tell versus having a reaction and then having to do everything over. I will clean it, but I just don't want to risk messing up the um, clear. Because it's still going to be Pretty. I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good mint. I do too. I think it's gonna be a little darker than the car as well. But I think it's gonna look cute. Like I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna look bad at all. I'm trying to wait for this part. I ain't 
Oh, uh, no uh, I cannot wait for my car to be painted. This is so exciting, but also like it makes me anxious. I got a question for y'all painters. So I got this primer right here, primer silver that I was talking about. It got clumps on the bottom. Is it bad? Because that, that one is been bought within the last year. Um, I ain't never really ordered none and had it sit that long. But I have just opened it, just cracked the seal. And then uh, sugar, 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 and I opened it up. Water at the top, clumpy at the bottom. So I need to know, should I throw it away or what? Because I don't like having excess stuff that I ain't don't use or can't use, can't do nothing with. So somebody just let me know. But uh, I'm gonna give it about five more minutes. I'm just looking for the shine to go away a little bit. And then uh, I'm gonna spray it. So you're about to spray the clear. This say no flash. Where are this thing? No flash between coats. I'm still gonna flash it because last time I sprayed this, it was on that white car right there. And for y'all who've been rocking with me for a long time, y'all already remember. I'm pretty sure the temperature wasn't supposed to, wasn't what it's supposed to be. And I still let it flash in the steel room. So uh, I'm just doing the proper steps this time. Cause uh, it'd be a learning experience, maybe messing up, something going wrong. I'm just following what I, what what the, what the boxes say and all that right now. So I'm gonna let it flash for five minutes. I'm trying to get the best angle because this damn sun coming in. Just gone and put my grill on. <laughs> Thirsty. Well, I wanted to do the picture in the light. I should put some glue. I got glue in my pocket. I ain't in the white house. That thing looking good in the book. I can't wait to get the whole car paint. Why are you not painting yourself? Because I ain't got time to mess up. If I knew I want to mess up, I'd do it. But then you just know you won't mess up. Yeah, yeah. Only it worked like that. <laughs> Only it worked like that. You got to take the tape off before the clear dry all the way. Or it's going to flake. So this is not attached to the bumper, so I'm just leave that. Oh shit, it is kind of. Shit, oh, yeah, I'm just take it off. It's not attached to the bumper, but now nah, I'm gonna leave it on. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got another question for the painters. So if you put tape on something, right? This sign of tape. And set in the sun and it dried up on the car. What's the easiest way to clean up the tape residue? Goof off, goo off. I always call it goo off, but it's called goof off. I wanna, I wanna wipe the car. I don't off. think you should wipe anything until it's dry. I'm gonna stay my Because you know exactly. You know how accident prone you are. Yeah, I already just got something on this point. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one alone. So. so 
So say if dust flies on here, then what do you do? You got to sand it out. And then paint it again? No, you just buff it. It's looking pretty. She's looking pretty. Well, this is a boy, but he's looking pretty. I'm going to keep it right here. You see it? All that, that stuff that we got in there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's looking good, babe. You did a great job. Give me some. Thanks. I might do a little polish or something on it. Yeah, it is a little darker. Yeah, that's what I say. I feel like in the sun, in, in the sun, you'll really be able to see it. But in the, like you in here. You can see it from these two pieces right there. Well, yeah, it's like, it, but it doesn't look like a big difference at all. Wait. All right, man. All right, y'all. This is the end of the video. Hey, it look good, but it's darker. It's a little bit darker. Uh, and I got overspray here and there. I'm cleaning all that stuff up. I'm gonna bring it out to the garage a little bit. I need to clean this boy. I have to drive through that mud, man. Can't wait to finish the backyard. Look, I got time now. I bet. I bet everybody who's talking that shit biting their tongue. Like everything just coming, coming together like it should, man. And I already knew this was gonna happen. I was just waiting on the time. Shit. I mean, I can't do nothing. I got a full job. I was at school at a point. Like, I already know what I can do. I'm about to have motherfuckers hurt, sick, sick. I'm talking about a bunch of personal cars. Like, man, I just ain't ready, man. I know what I can do. Yeah, it's kind of off a little bit. Well, yeah, y'all kind of can't tell now. But shit, it look good. Good enough. <laughs> Better than black. Decent. So I'm cleaning up all the old spray. And shoot. That's going to be that till I get another paint job. But uh, I'm waiting on the clear to get hard so I can put my grill on. Then I'm going to wash this boy. Take me a nice picture. Can't wait. Can't wait change this motor man i'm gonna wrap got this car change that motor yeah 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 i can't wait can't wait